Hello, and welcome to this video on working with Microsoft Excel. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at creating dynamic drop down menus utilizing Excel's built in data validation tool and the indirect function. Let's take a look. Open in front of you, I've got an example file called Excel Dynamic Dropdowns 01. It's an Excel file. I've offering, I'm offering this file for you to download and follow along with me and practice these concepts. You can find the download directly below, right down in the, in the description of this video. Look for the officenoob.com blog post and you'll find a link to this file on that page. Now, while you're down there, if you enjoy the video, you learned something new, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Let me know that you've enjoyed it. And that helps me out and helps me kind of guide the topics and videos that I want to create for this channel, things that are helpful for you. And if you haven't done it already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get updates about new videos that we post to this channel regularly. So let's jump in and take a look. So in this file, I've got a single Excel worksheet called Dynamic Dropdowns, and I've got a simple little kind of beginning of a table. And off to the right, I've got some information that I'm going to use to build these dropdowns. So here's the big picture scenario. I've got Make, Model, and Trim. This is relating to cars. So for example, as I'm entering records here, I want to be able to go into the Make column and have a dropdown where I can pick from different makes. Ford, Chevy, Honda, Toyota, and so on. Essentially, I want these values right here to show up in a nice little dropdown. Then, once I pick a make, such as Ford, I then want to go over to the model column and pick from the specific Ford models. I want to be able to see a dropdown here that shows me these values right here. Mustang, Bronco, and so on, anything else that I've incorporated there. Then, once I pick a model, such as I say Ford for the make, Mustang for the model, I then want the specific Mustang trim levels. So I want to be able to see things like EcoBoost, EcoBoost Premium, GT, GT Premium, Dark Horse, and so on. So I want these cascading dynamic menus to assist me as I do my data entry within this list. So the way that I'm going to show off here is utilizing really two tools, th actually three tools inside of Excel. The data validation list tool, name ranges, and the indirect function. Let's see it in action. So I'm going to create the first one. This is going to be probably the simplest one. I'm going to start out by selecting the range of cells that I want the drop down to show up in. So I'm just going to grab from A2 to A20 just to make it simple. That's what we see on my screen. But we want to accommodate however many rows we anticipate being inside this list. So I'm going to grab that range. I'm then going to go to my uh, data menu, top of my screen. I'm going to go into data validation. I'm going to change from any value for the allow. I'm going to change to list. And then for my source, I'm just going to grab this range right here. And that's it. I'll hit OK. And I've now got a nice little drop down with the different makes there. Ford, Chevy, Honda, and so on. Inside of every cell from A2 down to A20. That's the first one. Nice little drop down. There's Ford. All right. But now I want to be able to go over to model. And based on what I input here, I want a drop down that then shows me the specific models for that make. Here's where it's going to get a little more complex. So here, I'm going to hop over to this list that I've created. I've laid out the makes. I've then said, OK, for Ford, here's the different models. For Chevrolet, here's the different models. Honda, Toyota, okay, got all the models there. So what I need to do in order to use the data validation on these lists and make them dynamic is I'm going to give these ranges of cells a name, a reference. So for example, I'm going to grab the two Ford models, Mustang and Bronco. I'm then going to go up to my name box here in the top left corner, and I'm going to name it. Now, I want to name this something very specific because this is going to help us when we start to create the drop-down menus. 
When a user picks a value here, such as Ford, I then want model to show me the specific Ford models. Well, again, I'll grab those cells. I'm gonna to go to my name box and I'm gonna name this Ford. I'll type in Ford, I'll hit my enter key. I've now named that range of cells. If I go back to my box, there's Ford. If I select it, there's Ford. All right, so Excel now recognizes that Ford as being that range of cells right there. I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna grab these cells and I'll call this one Chevrolet. Chevrolet, make sure I spelt that right, hit my enter key, and I'm gonna keep going. Here's Honda. Here's Toyota. All right, so there's all my different models. Ford, Chevrolet, Honda, Toyota, the make headers, but I've got all the models underneath them. So now I'm gonna grab that range of cells, B2 down to B20 for the model column. I'm gonna go back to data, back to data validation. Now this time, I'm still gonna do a list, but this time, instead of grabbing a specific range, because if I just come over here and grab the Ford models, it would only ever give me the Ford options. I need to see Ford but and Chevrolet and Honda and Toyota and so on. So here in the source, I'm gonna use a formula. So I'm gonna say equals, and the specific function that I'm gonna use here is the indirect function. So I'll say indirect, open parentheses. Now, if you haven't used the indirect function before, the indirect function takes a string value or text value, such as Ford or Chevrolet or whatever, and it references a range that is associated with that text value. So remember, we just named all of these, right? We named this one Ford, we named this one Chevrolet, we named this one Honda, and so on. So here, inside the parentheses, I'm gonna grab cell A2, and I'm gonna make that, so the A column is the only one that's absolute, so it'll be dollar sign A2. I just hit my F4 key there a couple times, and I'll close my parentheses. So now the indirect function will look at it, the cell A2, grab its value, its text value there, and say, okay, is there something out here called Ford or something called Chevrolet? And it'll go grab that and return it back to us as our list. So I'm gonna hit okay. We now got our little drop down there. Remember this one's Ford. And there's the two Ford models, say Mustang. See, I'll hop over here, let's grab Honda, go to my model, got the little drop down, and now I got the Honda options. How cool is that? Let's try it one more level. So now, based on the make, which then gives us the specific models, I now wanna to go to trim, and based on the model, get the specified specific trim levels. So now back over to my nice little table here. I've got the different trim levels for each of the different makes. So once again, I'll just name them. Here, I'm gonna name this one Mustang. This one's gonna be Bronco and so on. These are all just the models here along the top, but now I'm naming the trim levels, Camaro, based on the model, Corvette. Now I can keep going here, but just to save some time, I've named a few of them. I did Mustang, Bronco, Camaro, and Corvette. All right, I'm gonna grab the trim level again, C2 to C20. Go back to data, data validation, lists, and once again, using the indirect function, I'll grab this one, and I just want the B column to be absolute. Close that parentheses, and I got my little drop down. Now it gives me just the trims based on the model. There's my GT. Now I didn't do the Honda one, so that one's empty. Let's see, I do a Chevrolet, then I'll grab Corvettes, and now I've just got Corvette trims. <laughs> what do you think? Nice little cascading drop-down menus using name ranges to identify the data, utilizing the data validation feature, and within the data validation feature, using indirect to take that text value, like the make or the model, 
and pulling out the specific range that we want. Now make sure the names that you use here are reflected on the make names or the model names, right? They have to be exact, otherwise it won't work. Whatever shows up in this list here is what you wanna name your name ranges. So try this out, get in there, open the file. If you haven't downloaded it already, again, down below, look for that link, try it out. And this is just with makes and models and trims, but we could use this in many different scenarios. A nice cascading drop-down menu system. All right, if you learned something new, make sure you give me a thumbs up. You learned something new. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos we post here. All right, I'll see you in the next video.